Hello, hello, my dear students. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? I am doing good. I am doing good, I think. Are you tired? No, I think I am going to get the flu. I think I feel like that. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. But it's not COVID. <laughs> I know. Whoosh. <laughs> no. No, I think it's just a cold. Uh, all right. All but right. But I, I am doing good. I am very happy to be here serving you another day. So, bienvenidos todos. It's a pleasure to have you here. Welcome, Miguel, Carlita, Marlon, Carla Lisette, Luis Eduardo, Leticia, Juan Antonio, Miss Catherine, hello, Jennifer, Maria, Rosa, Josue, Lucia, and all the ones that are going to connect right now. It is a great pleasure to have you here. Remember to keep your cameras on because uh, that is the process of the class, right? We're going to have the cameras on during the whole class. ¿Qué tal el día? ¿Cómo les fue? It was good, it was bad, it was so-so. How was your day? Good, bad, or so-so? Good, teacher. Good, good, very nice. Good, teacher. Thumb, thumbs up. Okay, cuando decimos thumbs up, es que estamos super bien, super good, right? Thumbs up. Okay, did you have the opportunity to work on the platform? ¿Tuvieron el chance de trabajar en la plataforma? Ahí yes. hay muchos que están conectados ahí. And that's good, that's fantastic. As you can see, si se dieron cuenta, eh, los ejercicios no son complicados, ¿verdad? son bastante accesibles, son bastante sencillos, los videos son muy buenos, muy informativos. Y siempre abajo de cada video hay un espacio para discusión. En ese espacio, casi siempre en el video piden como algún ejercicio, algún ejemplo, que es el que se pone ahí, vea. Ese tal vez no es tan evaluado como los otros quizzes que están en, con el lapicito, pero es importante porque nos sirven de práctica. Así que siempre hay que hacerlos. ¿Ok? Siempre hay que eh, poner ahí su colaboración en las, en las preguntas, vea, en, las, en las discussion box que está abajo del video. Casi siempre... Les, les pide ahí algún ejemplo o alguna parte de lo que tenemos que escribir. Así que ahí voy a ir viendo quiénes son los que escriben en la discussion box para ir chequeando. Ok. Jorge, what a beautiful background of Los Simpsons. You have a point there. Very nice. Ok. So yesterday we were talking about three well, four specific forms of the language, right? We're talking about mine, your, his, her, and it, right? This is what we were talking about yesterday. And for sure, we are going to continue discussing a little bit on this, right? Just to, um, to remember, practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. ¿Cuál es el otro agreement que tenemos ahí? A ver, ¿quién me ayuda a leerlo? Keep your cameras. Ajá. And during all the class. Keep your cameras on during all the class, right? That it's important. What is the next agreement? Attend all your sessions on time. Attend all your sessions on time. What is the next one? Participate as much as possible. Participate as much as possible. What is the next one? Everybody. Give a cooperative, give a cooperative attitude during class. Very good. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. Right? Keep a cooperative attitude during class. And the last one. Who can help me with the last one? Uh, collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. Collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. 
thank you very much for helping me reading the agreements, right? Collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. It, it is very nice that when someone sends a message on the group, everybody starts like adding information. It's like this, I did this and everything. Like, yo lo hice así, yo lo hice así, mira, hazle así. And it's very nice. So that's the sense of community, right? Ahí tenemos el sentido de comunidad, que a pesar de que estamos lejitos uno de otro, Eh, estamos ahí pendientes de todos. And that's very good. Well, in order to start our class today, we are going to do a very little review, right? Here. Here we have different words, right? We have three, six, nine, ten, eleven words. We have she, he, we, they, his, her, your, my, last name, first name, and favorite. What we are going to do right now is that you are going to work in little groups and you are going to create sentences using the words that we have here, okay? You have to take one sentence, one word, and create a sentence with it. Van a agarrar una de las palabras y van a hacer una oración usando esa palabra. Okay, if you say, for example, I want to use a favorite, my favorite food is chicken. And then you have a sentence, right? You say, oh, your, um, your house is very beautiful. And you have one sentence, okay? But it's going to be in little groups. So right now, what we are going to do is that you are going to receive an invitation, right? You are going to receive an invitation to join the groups. Le va a salir una invitación en Zoom para unirse a la sala de grupos más pequeños. Ahí van a encontrar a sus compañeros y van a trabajar juntos. Okay. Let's see. We are going to do seven rooms. Okay. There we are. And what you are going to do there is to create the sentences. Okay. Lo voy a mandar a los, a los uh, rooms. Y ahí van a trabajar las oraciones. Ahorita lo que pueden hacer es hacerle un screenshot a la pantalla. Hazle un screenshot a la pantalla. Miguel, dime. Uh, yes, teacher. How many sentences? Ah, very good question. Very good question. You need to create five because it's just a very quick exercise. And remember that you need to do it on your notebook. Can I see your notebooks, people? Show me your notebooks. Notebooks, notebooks. Aha, yeah, I have very responsible students. I like that, very nice. Okay, all of you that have your notebooks, your computers, your tablets, everything ready to work. Okay, so I am going to share the screen again and I need you please to screenshot it. Sáquenle un screenshot ahí para que se los lleven a sus grupos. There you go. Take a screenshot. Ya la tomamos. Yes. Yes. Pozo porque si no después salgo con los ojos cerrados. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> y ando por el mundo en algún screenshot con los ojos cerrados. Go ahead. Okay. Now we are going to go to the rooms and you are going to work with your classmates. How many sentences? Five, six, if you want to make the 11 sentences, that's perfect. Minimo, cinco, okay? But you have to have the same sentences. A cualquiera del grupo le puedo preguntar, así que todos tienen que tener las oraciones listas, okay? No solamente uno. Let's go to the rooms right now. Accept the invitation to go to the rooms. And... We're going to work. Ahí le voy a llegar a visitar a los rooms, okay? Así que no se espanten. Go ahead. Accept my invitation to go to the rooms. There you go. Accept my invitation. Thank you very much. I have some rooms that are ready. Go ahead. Very good, very good. Accept my invitation. Thank you. And go to work. Okay, okay, accept my invitation to go to the rooms. Aceptenme la invitación a unirse a los rooms, please. There you go, very good. 
I think all of them. Mario recibió la invitación para los rooms. No, teacher. Ok, ahorita lo mando de nuevo. Permítame. Le voy a volver a asignar. Ok. Ok, there you go. Nice. Ok. Perfect. Ok. So, all my students were assigned to the different groups. They are going to create simple sentences. Hello, Rodrigo. How are you? They are in mini groups. I am going to send you to one group. Estamos trabajando en los eh, mini groups. Ahorita te envío a uno. Hi, Rodrigo. There you go. Okay, all the students are working in the different rooms. So we're going to go and check how they are doing. The purpose of this is that they create little sentences with the words presented. So they are very basic vocabulary, but uh, I know they are going to be uh, working on the practice. Let's go and check how they are doing. Entonces, Eliga, no. elijamos cinco y hacemos las oraciones. Yo, yo la voy a ver uh -huh. en, el, en el teléfono ahorita y se la digo. Ah, okay. va, perfecto. Hello, Bye, hello. Ah, sí, mejor. <risa> Ajá. <risa> se nos, ¿Quién se nos fue? Quiero ver. ¿Quién se nos perdió? Ajá, there you go. Ok. I think you can share the screen if you want. Si quieren compartir pantalla también lo pueden hacer. Okay. Okay, so work on this and I'm going to go and check the next group. Continue working. Ahí ponemos cada quien. Sí, sí. Hello, hello. No problem. Hello. No, no problem, no, teacher. No problem. Okay, perfect. Welcome. <laughs> Hi. I was checking if you were working. <laughs> okay, I am going to go and see the next group to see how they are doing. Voy al siguiente group. A ver qué están haciendo. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Aha. <laughs> Did you finish? Uh -huh. Almost. No, no, no. no, todavía no. The first one, you say. Okay, remember that you need to have the same sentences. Tienen que tener las mismas, así que hagámoslas en grupo. So it cannot be individual. You need to work together. I will check on the next ones. Voy a ver a los otros. Yeah, Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hola. No problem with the sentences? No. Mm, no. Okay. no. Okay. How many do you have? ¿Cuántas llevan? Dos, cuatro, cinco. Yo llevo cinco. Ah, but you need to have the same. Tienen que tener las mismas todo el grupo. Okay. Me imaginé si le digo, ok, grupo, ok, grupo cuatro, dime las oraciones y me van a dar así como dispersas. O sea, serían las mismas. Porque... Yes, you need to have the same sentences. Work together, work together. I am going to go to check on the next group. Yeah. Boo. Hi. Hi. Did you finish Hi. the sentences? ¿Ya terminamos? Solo llevamos cuatro. Ok. Continue working. Continue, continue. 
What examples do you have? ¿Cuáles han hecho? A ver, compártanme alguna. La primera que, que pusimos, she is my teacher, your name is Nati. Ok, remember, when you say she, you use her. She is my teacher, her name is Nati, because it has to be the same. If you have she, it's her. If you have he, it's his. Ok, let's correct that one. Ok. Thank you very much. I'm going to see the next ones. Voy a ir a ver a los otros. Ya golpe. Bien, How are you? So so. <laughs> <laughs> Did you finish the sentences? No yet. How many do you have? We have four sentences and a half. <laughs> we need a complement. Four and a half. Okay. Can you tell me the one that you have problems with? Uh, we don't know what uh, word used. For example, actress. I don't know what what is the name. Um, what name we can use uh, for actress? The 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 very controversial one, Amber. What the one for Johnny Depp? Actress, actor. We have it. Yeah, Will but Smith. I mean, uh -huh. Actress. Scarlett oh, Johansson you, can be. It can be or Cameron Diaz or Amber Amber Heard. What is the name of? How's the name of Johnny Depp? La esposa. I don't Amber know. Amber Heard. Amber Heard. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you have a very controversial one. I right. wrote Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz, that's good. Demi Moore, it's another one. Smith. Salma Hayek. Uh, it's a girl. We have trouble. Yes? We have, for example, when we talk about tiger, we can use in plural or we can use is or is tiger or are tigers. Both. If you say are, put the S on the tigers, right? My favorite animals are tigers. General, todos los, los tigres, digamos. Uh-huh, but so it's in general, right? If you say are white tigers, that's another thing, right? You are specifying. But it's okay or? It's okay if you say, but change. Don't say my favorite animal is, no. You say my favorite animal are no, tiger. tigers. Uh, Josué, what was your question? Uh, ya pasó lista? <laughs> ah, no, when we come back, cuando regresemos. Okay. Yes, siempre paso lista después del warm up. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to the class. I think you okay. finish. Finish that one, okay? Finish that one. Yes. You have one minute. We finished. Okay. Welcome back. Good, 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 good. Very good. All of them are coming back. That's very nice. Okay, great. So, my dear students, we're going to report. Vamos a hacer a report de lo que hicimos en los grupos. And for sure, we are going to start in order, right? Some of the groups are finishing. They are coming back in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and all of them are here. Group number one, I have Jennifer, Mario, and Miguel. Who is going to report? I need two examples per group. Cada grupo me va a dar dos ejemplos de todos los que escribieron. Voy a darle uno yo. Ok, go ahead. I will uh, give you one, you say. I will give you one. Yo le voy a dar uno. I, I will you, give you one. I will give you one, one very, sentence. Very good. Go okay, Miguel. My, sen the, my sentence is, I like my last name. Very good. I like my last name. Excellent. Another example for group number one. Uh, she is my mother. She is my her, mother. Uh -huh. her, her name is Carmen. Very good job. She is my mother. Her name is Carmen. 
Group number one, very nice. Group number two, I have Jose Alexander and Leticia Aide. Who is going to give me the examples? One and one. Okay. We are friends. They are children. They are children, right? Children. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Children. Excellent. Okay. Very nice. And group number three, I have Jorge, Carla, and Manuel. Who is going to give me the examples? Group number three. Okay. Uh, what, uh, Manuel, what is your last name? Um, she is my classmate here. Her name is Carla. Very good. And there you have Manuel. What is your last name? That's very good. And let's go with number four. Carla Lisette, Nelson, and Rodrigo. Hi, teacher. Hi, who is going to give me the examples? Give me dar los ejemplos. I will give you one. Okay. Um, we are studying, we are studying English. We are studying English. Good, very good. The next one. My favorite food is pizza. My favorite food is pizza. Very good example. The next one, room number five, Luis Eduardo, Marlon, and Marta. Who is going to give me the example? I will give you one. Okay. We are classmates. We are studying English. We are classmates. We are studying English. Very good. The next one. The next one from the group. Thank you, Marta. I have Marlon and Luis Eduardo. My first name is Luis. Very good. My first. First. My first. Very good. Everybody repeat first. 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 My first. First, name. My first. My first. My first name. My first name. Very good. Very first good job. Name. First name. Okay. It's not first. Okay. First. No. Okay. First. The next one. Group number six. I have Josue, Juan Antonio, Lucia, and Rosa Alba. Who is going to give me the examples? His favorite music is bachata. Aha. Good sentence. La vamos a tomar para ejemplo. Si decimos, she's favorite music, ¿está correcto o podremos ocupar her favorite music? Her. Her. Her, her, her favorite music. Her, because yesterday we were talking that her is su para ella, right? So in that case, you say her favorite music is bachata. Good. Very good. The next example. I will give you one. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Lucy, can you repeat? His favorite TV show is Friends. Its favorite TV show is Friends. Good, his favorite TV show is Friends. One, go ahead. Uh, her favorite actor is Will Smith. Her favorite actor is Will Smith. Very good job. The next group, we're going to go with group seven. Catherine, Linda, Maria, Teresa, and Maria Guadalupe. Examples. Uh, she is my classmate. Her name is Catherine. Very good. She's my classmate. Her name is Catherine. Good job. The next one. Another sentence. Uh, my favorite color is black. My favorite color is black. Very good job. Okay. Great, my dear students. Very nice practice from the learning we had yesterday. I am going to call the attendance. Remember... When I call your name, you can say here or present. Vamos a llamar la asistencia porque ya es el momento indicado. Okay, let's do it. We're going to start with Jennifer Tatiana. Jennifer, present. Very good. Present. The next one, Jorge Alberto Rivas. 
present, Rivera. Rivera, sorry, my problem. Jorge Alberto Rivera Ramos. The next one, Jose Alexander Hernández. I'm here, teacher. Very good, Josué Mejía. Present. Very good. Juan Antonio Chávez. I'm here. Juan Diego Mejía. Juan Diego. Carla Lisette Martínez. Ok. Eh, Carla Nicole Hueso. There we go. Carla Nicole. Nota. The next one, Carla Stephanie Rivera. Present. Thank you. Catherine Judith Portillo. Catherine Judith. Present. Very good. Catherine Paola. Ok, Catherine, creo que no te, no te funciona el micrófono, pero ya te vi que ahí estás. Ahí está. <ríe> sí, creo que no te funciona el, el micrófono. Katia Dalila. Es Katia Dalila. Chan, chan, chan. Si la ven por ahí, me, me avisan porque no la escucho. Leticia Aide. Present. Thank you very much. Linda Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Lucía Fernanda. Present. Luis Eduardo. Present. Thank you. Manuel Alfredo. Present. María Elena. Present. María Guadalupe. Present. María Teresa Murillo. Present. Mario Antonio Delgado. Mario Antonio. Ok. Let's continue. Marlon José Mendoza. I'm here. Thank you. Marta Jacqueline. Present. Miguel Leonidas. Present. Nelson Rodimiro. Here, teacher. Thank you. Noemi Abigail Sánchez. Miss Noemi. Miss Noemi a la una. Miss Noemi a las dos. Miss Noemi a las tres. Oh. Norma Guadalupe Castro. Norma. Patricia Marisela. Rodrigo Antonio Alvarado. Presente. Presente. Thank you. And Rosa Alba Coca. Presente. Very good. ¿Alguien que se me haya quedado o que entró después de que ya habíamos pasado su nombre? Chicos. No. Si no, siempre recuerden, siempre, eh, casi siempre paso lista como en el minuto 25 ¿verdad? de la clase. Así que si de repente usted por cuestiones de la vida le agarró la tarde, venía corriendo, llegando del trabajo y se conecta después, siempre dígame, teacher, yo ya estoy aquí, <ríe> ya vine. Ok, siempre reportes. Ok, my dear students, let's work. We're going to continue working here. This is what we just did. I wanted to share something with you and it's a little bit of survival language. Exactly like I was telling you, I am going to share one. I want to participate, right? I have here some sentences. For example, this one. Teacher, how do you say tamales in English? Teacher, how do you say jocotes in English? Teacher, how do you say zapatos in English? Right? For you not to say, ¿Y cómo se dice en inglés, teacher? So you don't have to use Spanish. Para que no tengamos que usar el español, right? Y esto le va a servir de aquí hasta, uh, hasta allá cuando lleguen avanzado. Teacher, how do you say? And then you can ask. People, how do you say jocotes in English? Uh -huh. 
Who knows? I don't know. No, no idea. Ooh, I don't know. One point if you know. Hocotes. Hocotes. <laughs> no. How do you say hocotes in English? They are called mumbings. And it is on the chat. I send it on the chat, right? Mumbings. Mumbings are hocotes in English. People, how do you say berenjena in English? How do you say berenjena in English? Uh huh. Five. Eggplant. Cool. Eggplant. Very good. Send it on the chat. Mandalo al chat para que todos sepamos. Eggplant. People, how do you say um, equipaje in English? How do you say equipaje? El que lleva en el avión. Uh, packages. Package. Paquete. No, it's uh, similar. Suitcase. Googling. <laughs> Suitcase is la maleta. How do you say equipaje in English? Tic tac, tic tac, tic tac. Luggage. Luggage. Very good. Luggage. Mandalo al chat para que todos sepamos. Luggage. Right? Luggage. So that's the way you use the first sentence. Teacher, how do you say? How do you say celular in English? Cell phone. Cell phone, right? Cell phone. You say cell phone. How do you say perro in English? Dog. 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 Okay, Dog. very good. How do you say, uh, let's see, how do you say um, moneda de 25 centavos in English? Quarter dollar. Quarter. Right, it's a quarter. But in, in Spanish, you say cora because they cannot say quarter. And that's why they say cora, una cora. They say, no, it's a quarter. Okay, that's a tip, right? A quarter because it's uh, un cuarto de dólar, right? Pero alguien dijo, quarter, quarter. Ay, no, qué difícil. Cora. And that's it, right? Y le quedó cora para ti. So, a quarter. That is the way you use this phrase. So you don't say, teacher, ¿cómo se dice? No, you say, teacher, how do you say? And then you give me the word in Spanish and I'm going to help you. Teacher, how do you spell? ¿Cómo lo deletrea? How do you spell luggage? Ya lo enviaron al chat. How do you L spell luggage? L -U -G -G -E. uh, no. Luggage. L U G G E. A, A, G, G, e. G. That is, how do you spell? Como lo deletrea, right? How do you spell? Teacher, what is the meaning? Teacher, what is the meaning of survival? Teacher, what is the meaning of a uh, repeat? What is the meaning of language? Que significa? What is the meaning? Teacher, can you repeat that, please? Puedes repetirlo? Can you repeat that, please? Teacher, I need help. That is the most difficult one. Teacher, I need help. Teacher, I didn't understand, right? Teacher, I do not understand. Hey, no entendí, but I need help, right? What is another phrase that you need? ¿Qué otra frase incluirían ustedes en el vocabulario de sobrevivencia? That you use a lot in Spanish and you don't have to use in Spanish. What? <laughs> but we are in virtual classes. Come on. <laughs> Teacher, can I go to the restroom? <laughs> well, if, if it is an emergency, yes. If it is an emergency, for sure. Okay, you can say. Uh -huh. Carla? Uh, teacher, how do you pronounce? How do you pronounce? Very good. Okay. In this case, you can say, can I stand up? Can I stand up? It's like, hey, me puedo levantar por un momento? Because you need to do something, right? Pero no, como que me voy a parar porque voy a freír un huevo, vea. 
can I stand up? It's like, or in normal life, can I go to the restroom? Can I go to the restroom? The restroom is a public uh, bathroom. Cuando quieren ir a un baño público es restroom. You don't say bathroom. Bathroom is in your house. El bathroom es el de su casa, el privado. Si me dice, imagínense, estamos en clases presenciales allá en el escalón. Y me dice, teacher, I need to go to the bathroom. Y usted vive allá por a popa. So it's kind of far. <laughs> so teacher, can I go to the restroom? Restroom, it's public. Can I stand up? Teacher, how do you pronounce, right? ¿Cómo lo pronuncia? How do you pronounce? That's another one. Y para decir, puedo contestar una llamada. How do you pronounce? That's good. Can I answer the phone, right? Can para I... Decir... Para decir, ¿puedo contestar una llamada? ¿Cómo sería? Can I answer the phone? ¿Puedo contestar? Can I answer the phone? I wrote it there. Ahí se lo puse, la última. Can I answer the phone? For sure, you can do it. So these are like sentences that you can use for you not to use that much Spanish. Porque tenemos la costumbre de que, no, I will say it in Spanish. In Spanish, no. For you to use English more. Practice with me. Teacher, how do you say? 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 Teacher, how do you say casa in English? Teacher, how do you say casa in English? How do you spell house? How do you spell house? house? What is the meaning? What is the meaning? Is the meaning? Can you repeat that, please? Can you, Can you repeat, repeat, that, please? repeat that, please? Teacher, I need help. Teacher, Teacher I, I need help. help. Teacher, I don't understand. Teacher, I don't understand. Teacher, can I stand up? Teacher, can I stand up? Teacher, how do you pronounce? Teacher, how do you pronounce it? Teacher, how do you pronounce it? Okay, ¿cómo lo pronuncia? How do you pronounce it? Teacher, can I answer the phone? Teacher, can I answer the phone? Teacher, can you explain again? Teacher, can you explain again? Can you explain again, right? And I am going to do it again and again and again, right? I am going to write it here. Can you explain again? The only thing that you cannot say is like, can you repeat again? In this case, it's, can you repeat again? No, right? Porque ya repetir ya significa que lo vas a hacer de nuevo. No podemos decir, can you repeat again? Porque sería, puedes repetir ¿Puedes repetir de nuevo, de nuevo? <laughs> no, sí. Teacher, can you repeat? ¿Puedes repetirlo? Can you explain again? Okay. Those are survival vocabulary that you are going to use in this class and in all the other classes that you have because it helps you to communicate. It helps you to communicate and not to use Spanish that much. So it is good that you start practicing all these phrases. Well, my dear students, is it clear? Is it clear? Is that clear? Yes, 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 Very yes, good. Yes, sir. So we're going to move a little bit. We have been practicing this one, right? This is what we were doing yesterday. Um, my name is, her name is, his name is. This is what we were doing in the previous class. Something that we need to remember about the names of people is that you can use titles. Titles are the words that you use before the names. In this case, if the lady is single, si la chica está soltera, decimos obviamente Miss, right? And the last name. So you say Miss what? Miss Morgan, Miss Martinez, Miss, um, I don't know, Miss Flores, right? That's the way you do it. If the lady is married, si la chica está casada, you say Mrs. Right? Mrs. The one that we have here. If you don't know, if you don't know if the lady is married or not, you use 
Mrs., but in this spelling. Este es para la forma escrita más que todo. Okay. Miss is if you are single, right? Mrs., if you are married. In this way, if you don't know if the lady is married or not. Si no saben si está casada o no y lo tienen que escribir en un correo, por ejemplo, le ponemos solo Mrs. For the boys, single or married, Mr. Very simple. They don't complicate. Or you say sir or madam. Sir or madam are in general, okay? When you want to call a person, right? Here in El Salvador, we say, ch, ch. and that's incorrect. Okay, I keep being common to say, ch, ch. <laughs> and it's like, ah. In English, you say, sir, madam, right? And you use it in a very correct way, right? Marta, tell me. En algunas películas, yo he escuchado que abrevian madam como ma'am. Ma'am, it's yes, it's correct. It's correct. Yes, when you say ma'am. Only M A M, right, ma'am. But it's the pronunciation, right? But say madame, it's the same. But in the pronunciation, you uh, you do it like that. In writing, siempre va a ser madame, pero en pronunciación lo podemos hacer más corto y decimos ma'am, right? And you call the lady. Here in El Salvador, we do it in many ways, like hey, <laughs> and people are like, huh? And then you turn around. But in English, it's very polite. El inglés es muy amable. Es muy respetuoso, right? They're just like, hey, Marta. <laughs> no, right? It's not like that. It's like, madame or miss, right? Because you don't know the name, maybe. So you can approach the person like that. Si no le sabemos el nombre, por ejemplo, a la persona, le podemos decir miss or missus. Right, and then you say like, excuse me, what is your name? Ah, uh -huh, my name is Natalie, Natalie Flores, nice to meet you. And then you can get the information. For the boys, they are not complicated at all. Okay, los chicos no se complican para nada. Casado o soltero, mister. Casado, soltero o dona, mister. <laughs> Mr. Donuts. <laughs> and there you have it. Now you know why it's called Mr. Donuts, es el señor. De las donas. And that's the way we use it. So here, this is uh, something important that we need to remember, right? And you use this one with the last names. You use it with the last names. You say Miss Garcia, right? Mrs. Uh, Coca, Miss, uh, Miss Mancia, right? So you use it with the last name of the person. This is just for you to remember this. Yesterday, I told you to review a little bit of the alphabet. Who can help me to read the alphabet? With no mistakes. Que no se equivoque. Aha. Who can help me to read the alphabet? Go ahead. I will, I will take it out. Ah, Jose Alexander, give me the alphabet in English. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, I, J, K, No, <laughs> you ate one word. Ya, ya te comiste una letra. H, what? H, right, very good, Nelson. Okay, another one. Vamos a ver quién más. Cinco más letras. Ajá. Who can give me the alphabet? Okay, María Teresa. Buso a ver si me como la letra. Y me como la letra. A, B, C, D, E, F. G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Ahora sí leerlo. A B C D E F G A Hey, <laughs> James, don't eat the letters, don't eat the letters. Okay, I saw another hand up. Vi otra manita levantada. ¿Quién era? Who, who, who? Who can give me the alphabet? Let's see. But no, don't eat the words. Don't eat the, don't eat the letters. Nelson, Nelson. Nelson, go ahead. The, the public no, wants to no. listen to you. <laughs> No me lo puedo muy bien, pero voy a intentar. It's okay, try, try. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 
H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Yeah, so let's give a clap to Nelson. Very good, very good. Okay, those are gratis, okay? Give a clap to Nelson. Yeah. Good, very nice. Thank you. It is difficult not to eat the letters, right? It is difficult not to eat the letters. It is important when you remember the alphabet, the pronunciation, because this one is going to help you to create words and sentences in the future, right? Here we have, for example, like the little kids, como cuando estábamos chiquitos, que nos lo aprendimos por partes, right? Here I have the first part, right? Like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? That's the first part. And you say like H, H, I, J, K. There is a problem in English that you say like L, M, N, O, P. No, right? It's like L, M, N, O, P, right? Here you have this one. Q, R, S, right? T, U, V, V, okay? Es la vida en tal, you say V. W, X, Y, Z. Okay, in this case, you have to remember the first part, the pronunciation. Go with me. You say A, 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 A this one, A, A. con ambos labios. You say B, A, B, 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 C. B, Do you like pupusas? C. You say C. 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 D. 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 Like, D. Dime, dime tu nombre. D. 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 Nosotros tenemos esta I de puntito. I. I. But this I. one is I. 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 In English, I. you say I. F. 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 Y dejamos y soltamos el aire con los dientes. You say F. F, 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 G, 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 G. Y abrimos toda la boca, así sonreímos, say G, 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 H, H, H. Be careful not to say ash. It's not ash, it's H, 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 I. Like when we celebrate. K. K. When you say okay. Cuando decimos okay. K. L. 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 Okay, L. su lengua sube atrás de sus dientes. Right? Say L. 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 M. Como ayer que aprendimos la palabra M. name, cerramos la boca y say M. 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 N. M. Say M. M. N. M. M. O. 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 Oh, y hasta su boca hace la O, y dice O. 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 P. 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 Y siente la fuerza de O, y dice P. P. Y P. Y. Y. Q. 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 R. 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 It's not R, ¿ok? No me van a decir R, es R. 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 S. Okay, pongamos la boca así. W. W. X. X. X, como el que nos rompió el corazón. X. X. Y. 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 Z. Z. 
Sí. sí. Ok. Give me words with A. Words with A. Air Angel. Apple. 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 Airplane. Airplane. Uh -huh. Ajá. Animal. 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 Words with A. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Five, four. Ah, very good. Words with A. Actress. Actress. Very good. Words with B. Boo. Banana. Book. Blue. Blue. Bird. Bird. Beer. Beer. Uh huh. Bear. Words with B. Bear. Bird. Bathroom. Bathroom. Very good. Bathroom. Bathroom. With C. Cartoons. Cartoons. Car. Another one. Car. Cat. Another Car. one. Cat. With C. Chain. Chain. Cook. Cook. Very Cook. good. Cook. Cookies. Mm. Cookies. Good. CD. <laughs> Another uh, one. Doctor. With D. Doctor. Uh, doctor. No. Dog. 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 Dessert. Dessert. Good. Dolphin. Dolphin. Des desktop. Desktop. Diamond. Diamond. Very good. With E. Elephant. 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 Eagle. Eagle. <laughs> Ahorita todas Eight. las palabras así como. Todas las palabras con E. Como. <laughs> Eight. 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 Give me words with T. Tomato. 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 Tomato is the most common one. Tomato. <laughs> turtle. 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 Good. Turtle. Right. Turtle. Turtle. Tur Turkey. Three. 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 Right. In that case, you have power. three. Three. Right. Tower, Te good. Tears. 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 Give me tiger. tiger, right? Tiger. Tiger is the word from the one from Winnie Pooh, right? Tiger. Tiger is the animal. <laughs> Give me words with the last letter of the alphabet. Zebra. Zebra, good, very good. Give me words with the fourth letter of the alphabet. Con la cuarta letra del alfabeto. The doctor. Desktop. Desktop, good. Give doctor. me words with M. Mom. Mouse. Okay. Y ahí es donde practicamos el sonido. Todo eso es like mom, monkey, marker, mystery. Muscle. Right. Muscle. Motorcycle, Mister, Mouse, good, very good. So, Monster, Monster, give me words with S. Zoom, no, with S. Score, 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 speak, speak, soap, spoke. Ah, very good. You see, ahorita okay. el cerebro va con todo así de. Deme otra, otra, teacher, otra. <laughs> <laughs> Give me words with N. Nail. What? N. Nail. Nati. Nose. 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 Next. 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 Nothing. 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 Neck, the right neck. Excellent job, students. Very nice. Hi, we're on the spot, right? El que estaba dormido ahorita ya. Another one, teacher. Uh -huh. Give me another one, another one, teacher. Pregúnteme a mí, teacher. There you go. Very nice. Excellent job, the one that you did with the alphabet. And as you can see, this is a very good way to practice vocabulary. Ese es un muy buen truco para practicar vocabulario. Agarre la página y ponga, va, con R, con P, con D, con E, con A, y empiece a escribir todas las que se sepa. It's a very good way to practice vocabulary. Then, here I have a little trick. This is for you to remember the pronunciation, right? If you have problems to remember the pronunciation, here you have a little trick. Aquí les dejo un pequeño truco para acordarse de la pronunciación. 
Okay, you say A, B, C, D, E, F, F. G, H, A. I, J, A. K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. This is a little trick for you to remember the pronunciation, right? There you go. Some of the difficult sounds in English are the letters, for example, B and V, right? You need to remember the pronunciation of the two letters, right? You have B and V, right? Remember the sounds. The next one you have C, D, T, right? Mm -hmm. What is the pronunciation of these two? ¿Cuál es la pronunciación de esas dos que están aquí? E-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-A-I-
but I need you to practice the pronunciation, okay? I am going to share a video with you tonight for you to see a specific pronunciation of the letters and for you to have the chance to practice, okay, my dear students? So we have homework for tomorrow. Practice the pronunciation of the alphabet and get ready for the dictation. Tenemos dictado mañana. Ah, desde el kinder quizás no hacían uno. <laughs> you are going to do it tomorrow. So, practice the alphabet. Watch the video that I am going to send you uh, later on. And I am going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Okay, okay, my dear students, have a beautiful night. Rest a lot and see you tomorrow. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye